Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the review for this Harman Kardon Soundstix 3 and the one that I have specifically is the wireless edition. Uh, these are desktop speakers specifically 2.1 that means it comes with two satellite speakers and one subwoofer and as I mentioned it comes in two variants uh, one is the regular Harman Kardon Soundstix and the, the one that I got is the wireless. The only big difference between the wireless and the uh, regular one is that the wireless one has Bluetooth connectivity. Apart from that it's the same and I purchased this one from Amazon last year uh, this product was retailing on Amazon for about 22 to 23,000 uh, but I purchased it uh, from Amazon for about 12,000 200 rupees and uh, I feel uh, they, uh, these are actually very good desktop uh, speakers and as you can see uh, it is completely made up of uh, glass the subwoofer is also made up of glass and even the satellite speakers are actually made up of uh, glass and in terms of styling I would say these look very stylish and also in terms of sound the sound quality was actually very good and this is how I have set it up I have kept the satellite speakers uh, by the side of my monitor and it actually looks uh, very cool and as I've mentioned it comes with two satellite speaker but the right satellite speaker is the master control and we have two small uh, buttons over there to adjust the volume that is plus or minus we can also adjust the satellite speakers by tilting them forward or back as per your preference both the left and right can be tilted and these satellite speakers are connected to the subwoofer the subwoofer again as i mentioned is made up of glass and uh, on behind the subwoofer we actually have a knob using which you can actually adjust the bass and many of you actually uh, always ask me to play back sound files when i review speakers but i feel uh, the sound that you're going to hear is from your speaker so it simply cannot be uh, reproduce what i'm hearing but anyway here is a sample that i've recorded uh, uh, via these uh, speakers Let me move to another sound. This has some beats. And one more. I'm not keeping the volume at max. It can go actually really loud if you want. So what do I feel about these uh, Harman Kardon Soundstick uh, 3 speakers? Let's divide it between the pros and the cons. What are the things I liked and what are the things that I simply did not like? Let's start with the pros and the first thing that I liked is the sound quality. The sound quality actually is very good on these speakers. The bass is nice and tight. It's not muddy. You can obviously adjust the bass as per your liking and you can increase the bass quite a bit if you want using the subwoofer. Now if we talk about the uh, vocal and the mids they are these are also good enough I had no problems but in terms of high initially I felt those were slightly more pronounced but you can angle the speakers as I've shown earlier and you can adjust that and after about two weeks I got used to it in terms of sound quality I would say the sound quality is very good and if I have to rate them just based on the sound quality I would rate them 8.5 out of 10 Next, again, uh, moving to styling. Again, I feel these are one of the most stylish uh, speakers uh, that you can get for a computer as of now. So definitely very stylish. Now, uh, coming to uh, connectivity, again, if you offer the wireless version, you get the Bluetooth connectivity. And using that, you can easily pair it with your smartphones and Bluetooth devices. I had no issues with that. But there is one con that I have regarding Bluetooth. And let's talk about that uh, in the con section. Now, here are the uh, cons that are the things that I did not like about these. Now, first thing is regarding the wire. As I mentioned, the satellite speakers actually connect to the subwoofer. And the wire is not very big. 
and it's a custom cable so if you want to extend it it's not possible you have to cut down the cables and i didn't want to do that hence that is the main reason that i'm keeping the subwoofer on my desk because the wire was simply not long that i could keep the subwoofer on the ground so you this is one thing you have to be aware of uh, next thing is the entire uh, speaker is actually made up of glass even the satellite speaker and the subwoofer is actually made up of glass so you have to be careful uh, with it so if you are a sort of a rough user these are simply not for you now coming to bluetooth as i've mentioned in terms of connectivity i had no problems and uh, i could easily pair it with the uh, smartphones but the thing is that this uh, device does not have any button for bluetooth connectivity when a smartphone is connected via bluetooth just the blue LED light glows that means it's connected but there is no button to switch on or off for Bluetooth and also there is no pairing code so anybody can just uh, connect to these speakers via Bluetooth so if you live in a building uh, this can be a problem if your neighbors know that you have the speaker and if you are not connected anybody can just disconnect it to the speaker and start playing music so this is one uh, flaw that I have uh, found with the Bluetooth uh, implementations on these uh, speakers and also as I mentioned earlier uh, regarding the volume control you can use the right side speaker to control the volume but again there is no LED uh, uh, notification or anything like that to know how much volume is you are raising so you have to make a guess and again as I mentioned in terms of sound quality overall I like the sound quality but the highs are definitely more pronounced on these uh, speakers and lastly there is no remote control so if you want to adjust the bass you have to manually go and adjust it uh, on the subwoofer so overall uh, these are the pros and cons of these speakers and if i have to rate these uh, speakers out of 10 i would rate them 8 out of uh, 10. again i'll have links for amazon in the youtube show notes so if you're purchasing the, these speakers from amazon do use my link it does help the channel and if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video